everybody, Morgan here from Simple Networks, and today we're talking about guest networks in Unify. We're going to go over how you can set these up um, and features like bandwidth throttling and the captive portal. So in today's video, you're going to learn how to set up guest networks at both the Wi-Fi and VLAN levels. You're going to learn how to throttle bandwidth for guest Wi-Fi users, and you're going to learn how to set up a captive portal so that users have to agree to your terms and service before they can get on your network. Let's get started. All right, so here we are at the Unify dashboard. We are using classic settings for this demonstration. The simple reason for that being not all of these features are easily or readily available in the new settings just yet. So for your sake and for mine, to make this the best uh, fully featured video I can, we're gonna stick with classic settings for now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do in this video is go through how to set up a guest network at the actual network level or the VLAN level. Now, when would you do this? You're gonna do this when you have a fully featured Unify setup, including a gateway. So this means you're using a Unify gateway of some sort, whether that be a Unify security gateway or a Dream Machine Pro, something like that. Something where your firewall rules are handled within the Unify system. So to do this, we're gonna go down to the settings. We're gonna go to networks, and we're gonna create a new network. I'm gonna give it a name, call it Simple Networks Guest Test. And here's the important part. We're gonna select guest as the purpose for this network. Now, what are we doing here? When we select guest under the purpose field here, we're telling Unify, hey, this network is a guest network. Please apply guest policy and guest firewall rules to the network. And I'm gonna show you those firewall rules here in a second. But other than that, you're gonna set this up just like you would any other corporate network. So you're gonna give it a VLAN ID. You're gonna give it a subnet. So to keep things consistent, I'm gonna use that. Fills in everything else for us. Give it a DHCP range. Um, I'm not gonna go through exactly what I'm doing here because this is some basic network stuff and it would make this video very long. But if you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, I always like to give myself some room for static IPs here. Okay, and that's pretty much it here. So once you've set up your network, you can go ahead and click Save. And as you can see, our new guest network is set up. Now I mentioned when you marked it as guest, you are telling Unify to apply guest policy and guest firewall rules to the network. And I do wanna show you those firewall rules or where you can go to see them. So you go to routing and firewall, then you're going to click on firewall up here at the top. Make sure you're in the rules IPv4 section. And now you will see down here guest in, guest out, and guest local. These are those preset guest firewall policies that Unify is going to apply to networks you mark as guest. So I would urge you to go through these and actually see what your Unify firewall is going to be doing for users on that network. I'm not gonna go through every single one here as that would make this video very long, but I will point out a few. Allow packets to captive portal here. Obviously, um, if you have a captive portal, which we're gonna go over a little bit later in this video, you want your users to be able to hit that captive portal and get access to the network. And then you've got drop packets to restricted subnets. You don't want your guest users being, being able to access your main, your main network where all your servers are and stuff, right? So definitely go through these, see what you like, and then see what's missing. You might find that you want to add some more rules, which you can do right down here, uh, create new rule, uh, to really tighten up the security on this network if you want. But for most applications, these preset rules work out really, really well. So, all right, so now we're going to talk about setting up a guest network at the Wi-Fi level. Now, why would you want to do this as opposed to doing it at the network level? Well, if you are not using a Unify gateway within your Unify ecosystem, then you're going to have to do this at the Wi-Fi level. You're going to have to let your wireless access points and your Unify controller uh, control this for you. So to do it at the Wi-Fi level, we're going to go down to settings, and we're going to click on wireless networks this time, and we're going to create a new wireless network. We'll give it a name just like we did with the other one. Call this one Simple Networks. Wi-Fi guest. <laughs> I guessed Wi-Fi probably would have been a better option there. Obviously enable the network. You can give it a password if you want to. I'm going to leave it open for now. And then right here, this is the important part where it says guest policy. You're going to click apply guest policy 
to this network. That's going to be your captive portal, your guest authentication, all that stuff um, that is important for a guest Wi-Fi network. And then you are going to select which network you want it to piggyback off of. Now in my case, I'm going to select Simple Networks Guest Test. That's the guest network at the VLAN level we set up before. This is redundant, <laughs> um, but I'm going to do it anyway. But if you were doing this and you didn't have a Unify gateway of some sort, you would select whatever network or VLAN that you passed through from your router. And once you do that, all that's left is to click Save. And you have created your guest Wi-Fi network. All right, so while we are on the topic of the guest Wi-Fi network, let's talk about how you can throttle the bandwidth for users on the guest Wi-Fi network, or any Wi-Fi network for that matter, to make sure that your guests aren't sucking up all the bandwidth of, that you would need for all your devices, right? You don't want your guests taking the Wi-Fi down and making everything slow. So to set up bandwidth caps, the first thing we're going to do is create a user group. You're going to do that right here in user groups. Very nice, right? So we're going to create a new user group, and we're going to call this one Simple Networks. Oh my goodness, guest users. And here is where we are going to limit their download and upload. So this is on a per user basis. So we're going to say that each user can have a maximum of 5 megabits per second down, and I think 2 is good for the upload. We, we don't want them sucking up all our bandwidth that our employees need or that some of our corporate devices need, right? So we're going to go ahead and click Save. But now, that's not all. But wait, there's more. We have to tell Unify to apply any users who get on our uh, guest Wi-Fi to this user group we just created, right? To our simple networks guest user user group. So we have to go back into our wireless networks. We have to open up and edit the settings on that simple networks Wi-Fi guest network we just made. We have to scroll down and under user group we have to tell this, hey, anyone who connects to this network, make sure that they are applied to this new user group we just created. So now that we have done that, we can save. And now anytime anyone logs on to our new wireless network here that we've created, our guest network, they are going to be limited to 5 megabits per second down, 2 megabits per second up. Now, unfortunately, we cannot do the same thing to our hardwired users at the moment. So that first guest network we created at the VLAN level, we set that up. We cannot apply user groups and bandwidth limitations to them. Unfortunately, it's just a limitation of Unify at the moment. I'm definitely hoping that they fix that in the future, though. All right, so next we're going to talk about how you can set up a captive portal. Now, this captive portal is going to apply to both the wireless guest network as well as the VLAN level guest network, so no issues there. If you don't know what a captive portal is, if you've ever been to a hotel or a restaurant where you log on to the Wi-Fi and it redirects you to a page where you have to enter a password or maybe you have to accept their terms and conditions, that's a captive portal. Um, I love captive portals. I think they are a fantastic idea. So let's go over how you can set those up. So the first thing we have to do is go into guest control here in our settings. And look at that. Guest portal is the first option under guest control. So we're going to go ahead and enable the guest portal. And boom, holy portal. There come all of our options. Here is where the fun begins. So the first thing to do is to pick your authentication method. In this case, I'm going to leave it on no authentication just to make it as simple as possible for this video. But definitely uh, go in and explore with the different options. If you're looking for uh, people to have to enter a password in their portal, you'll want to use the hotspot feature. Um, but with no authentication, it's just going to leave it open. You just have to accept the terms and conditions to use the Wi-Fi. So we'll stick with that. For expiration, this is where you're going to pick how long do they get access until they have to accept the conditions again. Uh, you can go all the way up to seven days. I'm going to leave it at eight hours for this because it really doesn't matter. This is just a demo. But pick what you think would be most appropriate. So if you're at a hotel, maybe you get two days, right? But if you're at a restaurant, maybe eight hours is plenty because uh, if they come back, <laughs> they're not going to be at the restaurant for eight hours. And if they come back, you'll have them accept again. So use your best judgment on that. So next, we can scroll down to portal customization. And this is where you can make the portal your own, right? So we'll give it a title. We'll call it the Simple Networks. 
podcast portal. You can put your welcome text in there, so we'll edit that. I already put some in there earlier. I just did welcome to Simple Networks. Please enjoy our free Wi-Fi. So that's good. Submit that. And you got your terms of service. And while Unify will suggest um, a basic like terms of service agreement for you, but I prefer this one. Hey, don't be doing any bad stuff on our Wi-Fi. Got it? You know, that kind of thing. Obviously, <laughs> you'll probably want to do something a little more professional than that. But hey, we have fun around here. So we'll submit that. Down here is where you actually get to customize the design of everything. And uh, you get your little preview over here. So you can change the background color. Make it like pink. Uh, yeah, there we go. Make it pink. You can change your text color. Make it black if you want to. Upload a custom logo. So I'll probably block this out, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload a custom logo. There we go. Got the uh, Simple Networks logo in there. And now that I'm looking at it, the background doesn't really go well with this, but you get the idea. Button color, text color, all that kind of stuff. You can go nuts, go nuts. Make this uh, look the way you want it to. And once you've done that, once you've customized it and set up your authentication method, you're pretty much good to go. It's actually pretty easy. That's it for setting up a basic portal. Now there are some advanced options like access control, and I might make a, a more detailed video on getting the absolute most out of your captive portal. But for a basic captive portal for a restaurant or a hotel or something like that, this is gonna do the trick. So once you're done with your customization, go ahead and click apply changes. And there you go, you've activated your uh, portal. Now the cool thing about this is because we already set uh, both of our different networks um, at the Wi-Fi level and at the VLAN level, because we both set those as guest networks, this is going to be automatically applied to those networks. So we don't have to go activate this or submit it to a network or anything like that. It's all good to go. So now let's go ahead and demonstrate this. All right, so I've got a blank Google uh, page up here in Safari, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch our Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go from the corporate network, which I was on now, to our new guest network. And boom, there you go. Here is our captive portal with our logo and everything. If I wanna get on, I accept, click connect. Success, all right, so we can hit done. Now I should be able to head over, let's try Bing. And there you go. Now, I do wanna demonstrate real quick the bandwidth cap as well since we are on the Wi-Fi. can already tell it's much slower than everything was before. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and hit go. And there you go, we are being capped at five. It's not even letting us get right up to five. <laughs> so there's our bandwidth cap that we set before. We should see two for the upload when this is done. Yep, yep, it actually won't even let us get to two either. So. There you go. All right, so there you go, folks. That is the end of this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I try and answer every single one. Be sure to check out some more videos from Simple Networks. I've got quite a few Unify tutorials now, uh, so check those out if you're interested. And other than that, have a great rest of your day and happy networking.